Hey, how y'all doing? Hey y'all. It's Kenya and Terry. This is my good side. She was like, yeah. Side. This is my bad side. So I'm glad I'm over here. Okay. So we're here tonight, y'all. We are making ribeye steak. Stir fry. Yes. And yeah. uh, coconut ginger rice. Mm -hmm. I've never tried coconut ginger rice. So this is our first time trying it. Our first time trying it. So we're going to eat that with the stir fry. Yeah. Okay, y'all. So I'm going to see what we got. We got, we bought some ribeyes and we sliced them up. Yep. So you can go ahead for a minute. So we sliced them up and we, uh huh. We sliced them up and we, um, Hey, hey y'all. Okay, we back. This take two. Take two, yeah. Terry, Terry, Terry was in here. Yeah, you know she can't cook. She had it up sky high. It was about to burn us both of him. Yeah, yeah. I didn't know it was gonna be popping like that, y'all. It was popping. It was we, popping. It, it been was warming high. up. The pan been warming up for a little while. Okay. So y'all, um, Terry just put the ribeye meat in the pan. Mm -hmm. So let me let me show. Okay. Let me show y'all what it looked like. It's just a regular ribeye. We had like, I think we had like four ribeyes. Yeah, like four and we just We just like, we just did a thin strip ribeyes. We just thin stripped the meat. So what I use in for the um, marinade, it only marinated like 30 minutes. This is a um, Korean barbecue. If anybody knows anything about bagogi, bagogi, I'm not sure how they pronounce it. It's a Korean um, uh, beef. It's real good. We got a Korean store around the corner. It's real good. Oh, okay. So I like it. So I bought the um, the marinade for it, okay? And I, I mixed it with the Tony, uh, Tony Satchel's um, steak seasoning. It's like a marinade. So I mixed it. I mixed the damn... Korean barbecue marinade with a ton of steak steakhouse marinade, okay? For 30 minutes. So I'm gonna tell y'all um what we put in um the ingredients that we're putting in him. Um is it in like liquid in that here? It's a little bit, yeah. Okay. Okay, so um we use a little pepper knife. Little pepper. Ooh, she let me do the season. I, I, I tend to overdo the season. Yeah, she I ain't giving her the salt. I'm gonna do the salt part myself. That's good. Mm-hmm. Y'all know we don't measure. Yeah, we'll measure. We'll measure. Okay. On your powder. On your so, powder. So, um, lemon measure. pepper on your powder. That's good. Um, <laughs> let's tell her when it's good. Y'all know we're going to use garlic powder. Got to have garlic powder. Got to have garlic powder. Okay. Now, I'm going to use my Baja steak seasoning, y'all. This is the only seasoning with salt. Y'all know I usually don't season but with one salt. Um, so yeah, I know we don't measure, so just put what you want, you know. Hey, shit, sprinkle like it's salt on your meat, okay? Mm -hmm. But it's got all kind of different blend, blends in it, but it's got a little salt, so I didn't want to add no extra salt in it. Then my friend, she got me buying this um Italian season, y'all. This is something that I'm just my first time trying on meat, mm -hmm. so I've used it like on like my pasta salad and stuff, but I'm gonna try it on this steak. Um, she was telling me that she, you know, going on, on, on about it. So I figured I would try it on the meat. Okay. So I just put the whole pack in y'all. It's a small pack. And I don't think it's got any kind of like salt flavor. Um, it's kind of like the same, the same season dressing. Mm -hmm. So, um, while Terry is stirring it up y'all and browning it. Um, remember lemon pepper, bars your steak seasoning, onion powder, garlic powder, we use that on um, Good Seasons Italian dressing pack. Um, Tony Satchel steak sauce marinade for the meat. And I don't know the name of this. It says Foods. I get from Food Depot. Foods um, Korean barbecue um, marinade. So that's, that's everything we have in the meat. In, in, in the meat so far, y'all. Okay. Mm -hmm. So this is what really gives this meat extra flavor. So um, this is a. If anybody's shopping at Food Depot, they have a uh, little seasoning area, you know, like a Mexican look, like side area. I mean, aisle. And um, they have a Mongolian beef seasoning mixture. So that's what we got. We're mm -hmm. we, we going to use that. Um, it's a Mongolian beef, so it's going to be like a sweet beef. You know, you can buy a regular beef stir fry, but it's going to be like a um, 
seasoning. It's like a sweet beef uh, yeah, flavor, sweet. okay? If you don't want a sweet beef flavor on your uh, stir uh, ribeye, y'all, um, just get the regular beef stir fry, okay? I don't think the name brand matters, but I always get the, I think it's Sunbird because that's all they got in, in these kind of uh, seasons, okay? So all we're gonna do, um, we, I'm, gonna let her I'm gonna let her brown that meat a little bit more, and then we're gonna uh, pour this on there. And all I did with that, uh, let me show you what it looked like. This the pack. That's and so, mm -hmm, right, and, but, uh -huh. okay. and all I do is put um, about, I got two packs. So I did um, one, two, I did like maybe eight tablespoons of soy sauce with it, okay? And then I did like um, some water. I did some water and then I put me a little bit of thickening, like um, just a little bit of um, mm -hmm. cornstarch for the thickening, cause it was kind of, you know, kind of lit, wet, I mean, ah, I'm tired. <laughs> okay. It's kind of thin and watery. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I want to thicken it up. So, <laughs> okay, so she brought the meat a little bit more. So, <laughs> we're gonna go ahead. Y'all know, hey, let's have it cook. Why Terry doing that? Let me tell y'all what I'm gonna cook. I'm gonna throw in some oil. Okay, y'all, everything is, olive oil is in everything, okay? So what I'm gonna do over here on this side, let me wash my hand, rinse my hand out quick. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. So what I'm gonna do over here on my side, cause I got me a pan on here, y'all, with some oil. So, um, let me show you. Well, I'll show you what I put in now. I got a pan with olive oil. Everything got olive oil in it, okay? So, um, add your garlic. We got garlic. Chopped up. I think I chopped up maybe like, you know how you get it off the clove? It's fresh oh. off the clove. Maybe like three little sides of garlic. I chopped up from there. So, um, we're gonna put that in the pan by itself and then we're gonna add it. I, this is just how, listen, you don't have to do yours this way, okay? No. I use them green onions, like the scallion type onions, the long ones. Um, I chop that up with the onion and I stir fry in olive oil, okay? Now, some people like to do that with the meat, okay? You don't have to do yours like mine. You do yours how you wanna do it. This how Kay Miller do hers. But what I do when I do all my stir fry on this side, I add everything in this pan into this meat. So all those flavors from the oil, cook it up here by itself, it's better in the meat when you add it, when you cook it separate, add it to the meat. It's so much better. Cause the flavors, uh, people don't know, I people know that onion and that garlic flavor together, um, uh, saute, it gives it, it another flavor. So you wanna do that separate. So, um, so I'm gonna put the green onions in here. Oh shit. Mm -hmm. Go to the green onions upon your damn broccoli. Hey, the green onions? Oh, Hell shit. yeah. Yep. Okay, okay. So, um, okay. That's okay. That's okay. Mm -hmm. I, I, well, I want you to do. I'll stir this. Okay. Let's we'll Put that, that broccoli in another bowl and grab, bring me the green onions by itself. We're going to use a bigger spoon. And you, we can cut it up some now. We ain't worried about that popping everywhere now. We can cut it up. Yes, baby. What do you need, CJ? Hold on a minute, okay? Look, I'm gonna do this right quick. Okay, y'all. So while, while Terry doing that, we gonna um oh she back. Okay, so these are the kind of green y'all know the green onions you cut the long ones. Yeah, that with some with um garlic. Okay, so it do smell good already. And so all I'm gonna do, y'all, y'all see how? I'm just gonna mix it up in here. Let it stir fry. Can you see it? That's garlic and the green onions together. So I would let it caramelize probably about maybe two minutes. Just let it, just let it cook about two minutes. You know, in in the uh, in the olive oil. Now, y'all, what I normally do. Whenever I make, whatever, yes, baby. Okay, hold on a second, okay? I'm gonna do something, okay? 
Hold on. You want to go ask something to do it for you? Go ask something like what she do it for you. Go ask something like I'm going to do something, okay? Or oh, wait a second. Okay, hold on. Okay. Uh, okay. So, what? See, guys? I lost my train of thought. Um, okay, so I caramelized the onion yeah. and the um garlic. Two minutes, y'all. Now, I use it season on uh, my stir fry when I do it. Separate like this, I season it. So normally, um, I put everything in the pan. So we're gonna cook it a few more minutes till I cook it up. Mm -hmm. So, okay. I don't know. For some reason, I want to pour some of this water off here. Hold on. Okay, I'm pushing the juice off. Yeah, I'm gonna pour some water off. Okay. Mm. I think it's really good. Okay. So y'all, whenever you're doing a stir fry, if you can afford to buy the ribeye meat, if you can buy it, buy it. Try not to do the flank steak. Sometimes that meat be too tough. I can't chew that meat like that. <laughs> so the ribeye is always better. If you can, if you can afford to get that ribeye, get it. If not, you can always mix it. You know, you can always get your ribeye or two and mix it with regular flank steak if you're trying to make a lot of it. Okay. So y'all, I done uh, sauteed my um, garlic and my onion. Terry is gonna pour the season. Y'all remember the season we mixed up? Yeah, the, the, the Mongolian beef season. We just pour it all over. Uh huh. Pour it all over. And y'all know I told y'all I said it's got uh, the two packs of the Mongolian beef. We had four thin ribeyes. We didn't get no thick now. We get we did thin ones so we could slice them thin. Um, we did um. Two packs of Mongolian beef with four ribeyes, so you can break down one with two. Um, so we added water to it, maybe like I want to say I did eight tablespoons of of, uh, of uh, soy sauce with that, and I want to say I did a half a cup of water, and then I went back and put me some thickening because I wanted me some thickening in it. I wanted me some of that. Um, what else I put in there? Look up there. What is that called? That yellow can? Um, cornstarch. Oh, yeah, cornstarch. Put cornstarch in there. Okay, y'all. So, let me show you what we got. Mushrooms. Where is it? I don't know. Okay, y'all. I have got to rinse the motherfuckers off. So, we got mushrooms. Add the mushrooms with your, um, what is it? Um, the, the garlic and the and the onions. And the onions. I was gonna say. Yeah, add mushrooms with your garlic and your onions. Make sure you rinse them. Yeah, Make sure you rinse them off. Child, we got it smoking up in here, girl. Smoking. Uh huh. So we're gonna move this over because it's going. It's it's going. It got too much going on. Uh, you want me to come over there? Okay, y'all, let me let y'all see. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, y'all. Okay, look. We got the orange bell pepper and we got the yellow bell pepper, y'all. We got a lot of peppers. It's pretty. So, it is pretty. So, y'all know that we're on a health kick over here. So, I think I lost like 25 pounds. So, we're on a health kick. So, we're doing a lot of vegetables, okay? Now, we're going to let Terry kind of watch this. <clears throat> we're going to come back, y'all, because I'm trying to make these videos not be so, so, so long. I want you to be able to see what I'm doing from beginning to end, but I want to be able to break it down so it won't be so long, okay? So, I think we, we're going to try to do this for maybe 20, maybe 30 minutes or longer. Yeah. So, um, we'll be back with y'all in uh, 10 minutes. And we back. We back, y'all. So check this out. Stuff looking so good. It looks so good. It's so healthy. Let me show y'all something. Okay. Well, that look good. Mm -hmm. So, y'all, we got yellow bell pepper, red, orange bell pepper, pepper. Um, mushrooms, green onions, um, garlic. Yep, yep. So, let me show y'all this. This yeah. is the 
ribeye um stir fry it's got broccoli y'all fresh broccoli okay cut up in there i put that in there no with that to cook together and um y'all we already told y'all about the seasons and everything so what we're gonna do now we're gonna season this all uh, these vegetables okay my first thing i use is the caribbean tradition spark of that we're gonna use a little bit of uh baja complete seasoning Tell her. Huh. This is the Mrs. Dash original one. I like that on my vegetables. So go ahead. A little more. Okay, Sue. Good girl. Okay. We're gonna do a little bit of garlic powder on the vegetables, y'all. Okay. So I don't think we use any salt uh, on the seasoning, so we're gonna put just a little bit of slap your mama seasoning. Just a little bit. You can't get that much out of the whole thing. Okay. Is this kind of hot? This is kind of mm -hmm. hot. It's right? Cajun. That's good. Okay. <laughs> she kind of heavy with the salt and the damn seasoning. <laughs> Gotta be standing here with her. Okay, y'all. So we just wanted to show y'all what we was doing. Um, that's our meal, y'all. Pretty much. Mm -hmm. This was a pretty quick video. Um, good healthy. We wasn't trying to get healthy, and we wasn't trying to um be on here all night. But um, what we will do when we get through um, sauteing everything and um, putting everything together, we're going to plate it up and come back and let y'all see what it looks like. Okay. Thank you. Hey, y'all. We are back. This was a really, really quick video because this was a really, really quick meal, y'all. I'm, I'm hoping that you was able to follow it if you want to try it. Make sure y'all buy ribeyes, not that flank steak or that little cheap steak, because the ribeye meat is more tender. It's more juicier and more tender. But um, hope y'all enjoyed us tonight. Have a good night. Yeah.